please send me the answer once you are done. Okay, guys, please listen here. Listen this very carefully. Like this was a very easy question. Okay. What you have to see first of all, you have to see the k. It has been given to you guys. It has been given the value of k that is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole moles per liter per second. Who will tell me what is the order of the reaction? Look at the unit and tell me what is the order of reaction. Ah, kya ho gaya bhai? Nobody knows what is the order of reaction. You have done this stuff by using the unit of K. What will be the order of reaction? Tell me, guys. What happened? Hishma, Khalid, Minashi. Notes may take you have this in your notes only. What is the order of reaction? Sir, zero order. Very good. Because what you have to do for order of reaction, Yadraki, I think you guys are not revising. Whenever you are coming to the class, please revise the previous class. Okay. Otherwise, I see blank better. So last class, we knew that if I just add whatever to the power of liter is one. So minus one plus one will be equal to zero. So this is a zero order reaction. And what else has been given to us? We have been given the concentration of reaction becomes this much after 10 seconds. So there is time involved. So time is given 10 seconds. And we have been given the concentration of reactant that is equal to 0 0.075 moles per liter. What they are asking? They are asking the initial concentration that we represent as A0. This has not been given. Now, what is the rate law equation for the zero order? It is A0 minus A is equal to Kt. So what you have to find here, you have to find the A naught here, right? You have to find the A naught. Yes or no, please tell me, guys. What will be A naught? A naught will be equal to concentration of A plus Kt. This concentration of A is what? It is the remaining concentration, whatever is remaining. So 0 0.075 is remaining plus what is the value of K? 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 times 10, 10 is the second, 10 seconds. So this will be equal to 0 0.075 plus 1.5 into 10 to the power minus two. So this is 0 0.075 plus 0 0.015, right? Uh, so this will be equal to 0 0.90, 0 0.09. This is the initial concentration. That's a very easy question, guys. Please start learning. Done everyone, you please tell me guys. Is everyone done?
Hishma, you have sent me something. Is my calculation wrong? So 1.5 minutes at the minus two, na? Ishma, uh, how, how have you done this? Can you tell me? Ishma? Yes, sir. You have written like this. Correct? Uske baad yes. Uske baad aapne kaise liye? 1.575. Yes, sir. 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 Doesn't make sense, no? Ye pehle multiply hoga, so this will be 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. Isko bhi aap kya li sakte? Plus, you can write this as 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. So 1.5 and 7.5 will be equal to how much? 9. Yes or no? 9 into 10 to the power minus 2 is common. So 9 into 10 minus 2 is 0.09. Most per liter. Yes, sir. Let's please write first order reaction. Okay, so in the last class, we learned about the integrated rate law equation for the zero order reaction. Okay, zero order reaction. So now write first order reaction. The reaction in which rate depends upon first power of the concentration of the concentration of the concent of the concentration term raised in rate law raised in rate law expression. This type of reaction is called first order reaction. So here we have A giving me the product C. For this, the rate law equation is R A times A to the power 1. And for this, we can write, this is the calculation. This is the rate law expression. And we can also write, calculate the rate using this formula. Minus D into concentration of A upon DT. This is the experimental rate. We have to do some, some experiment in order to get this particular rate. And here, what we can do here, we can just plug in the value of concentration and then we can get the rate. Okay. If we know the order, since we know the order, we can just plug in here. So one is theoretical, one is experimental rate. Now you can draw a graph between the concentration of reactant and the rate. So in this case, we have graphs on which looks something like this. Because what is happening? As we are going to increase the concentration, the rate is going to increase. So here we are having rate. And here we are having concentration of reactant. Okay, so this is the graph between what? The rate of reaction and the concentration of reactant. The rate of reaction, you can write it as minus D upon DT. Okay. And what is the slope here? Slope is equal to K. So it is a graph which looks like y is equal to mx 
And in this case, what happens? The line is passing through the origin. The end here is the slope that is equal to K. Draw this graph, then we will derive the equation, integrated rate law equation. Sir, could you show the definition again? Yeah, sure. Dhanvej is going to be sunny. Done, everyone. Okay. Right next, expression for rate form. Or rather, you should write integrated rate like this. Okay, so what did we say? We have two different rates for A giving me some product E. I can write the rate is equal to K times A to the power one. I can also write R is equal to minus DA upon DT. And we are going to equate both of these equations. So I have minus DA upon DT, which is going to give me, which will be equal to K times concentration of A. Now you can, Shift the dt there, we will have minus dA is equal to minus, okay. And you can bring this A here, okay. The variable separation is happening. We are separating the variable, that means concentration of A is in the RHS, you are just getting it in the LHS. And then you will write K dt. After that, we can integrate both of these things. So the integration of one upon A is equal to L and A. The minus sign will be there as it is. And integration of one upon A is equal to L and A. Okay, so if you have something like this, integration of one upon X dx, this is equal to L and X. Okay, because I think the differentiation of uh, L and X upon X is equal to one upon X. That's I put okay. So the integration of 1 upon x is equal to ln x with the natural log. This will be equal to. Now, k here will be there as it is. And integration differentiation, they will cancel each other and you will get kt plus you will get a constant. This is the integration constant. Now, we have to calculate for the constant. What will be the constant? We will write as time is equal to 0. The concentration of A will be equal to A naught, right? Because initial concentration. And then we can write this complete equation. So when we are writing the equation for time zero, we will write minus of ln. Now the concentration is A naught. This will be equal to K into time is equal to zero because we are just starting. Okay, time is equal to zero plus the constant C. So as you can see, C is equal to what? Minus of ln A naught. Now, once we have got this C, we will plug in the value of C because C is a constant. It does not it does not depend on anything. It is the it is a constant in this particular equation. It is a constant in this particular equation. Now you can write this is going to give me minus ln of A is equal to kT, and here we are having minus ln of A naught. Now this equation is very similar to the previous equation that we saw. This is equal to ln A naught minus ln A is equal to kT. If you remember the zero order reaction, the zero order reaction was A naught minus A is equal to kT. Now what we have just added here, we have just added the ln part. There is no difference. Okay, there is no difference. We have just the ln part. 
But the other thing is that we cannot deal with LN. We have to convert this value in terms of log. We have to convert this value in terms of log. Now, using the quotient rule, which says that log of a upon b is equal to log of a minus log of b. Using that, I can write this is equal to ln of a naught upon a, which is equal to kt. ln of a naught upon a, which is equal to kt. Now, this ln is natural log, which is to the base e. To make it to base 10, you have to multiply 2.303. So, when I multiply 2.303, 2.303. Now, this ln will become log whose base is going to be 10, and we are going to have A naught upon A as it is. This will be equal to KT. This will be equal to KT. Now, you can write the equation. Also, write the equation like this. Generally, it is written in this form, 2.303 divided by time. Log, the base here is 10, A naught upon A. Okay, log A naught upon A. Please write this derivation. These are the see for the sake of remembering things. Starting me here, really important. Hai. Okay, so just that you have some idea what is the equation, and you can relate it to the zero order also. But at the end, you will be mostly using these two. Okay, both of these are same equation only. Okay, with the addition of two point three zero three. Can you please write this down? integrated rate equation for the first order that we have written now.
What happened? Nobody is done. Everyone is done. Please check. Everyone is done. Okay. All right. Next. Now we are going to look at the graph as we saw the graph in the zero order reaction also. So please take the first graph with me. Graph between concentration of reactant. Versus time. Please see it is not the initial concentration, it is just the concentration. The concentration is represented by the A part here. Okay. So what we have, we have log A naught upon A. Is equal to 2 point, is equal to what? KT upon 2.303, right? Similarly, we can expand this. We can write log of A naught minus log of A is equal to KT upon 2.303. Now we have to uh, we have to write the equation in such a way that we have Y is equal to MX plus C kind of thing. Let me first of all draw the graph like this and tell you what are the different axes. So here we are going to have time and here we are going to have the log of A. Okay, so log of A is in the Y. So I will write this equation as log of A is equal to, now I have thrown that there, KT will come here with a negative sign. That will give me log of A naught minus KT upon 2.303. Now writing every piece of this particular equation such that it uh, looks like y is equal to mx plus c. So please see here, log a, this is my y is equal to mx. Now since time is x, k upon 2.303, that means minus k upon 2.303, this is my m, x is my time. So we have the time here plus log of A naught, this is my C. So we have Y is equal to MX plus C. As we can see, the slope is negative and your graph will look something like this. Just start somewhere from here. Okay, somewhere from here. And this point, it denotes the constant, which is log a naught, the intercept, intercept that is the initial concept, the log of initial concentration. The slope here minus k upon 2.303. Okay, y is equal to ms plus c. Moving on to the next graph, please write the next graph. Graph between the 
the log of e naught upon a versus 10. Now here, if you are going to write the equation as we have written it earlier also, log a naught upon a is equal to, see, log a naught upon a is equal to at upon 2.303. Okay, so this is my y. Now time is going to be my x. Now the whole thing is going to be the k upon 2.303 is going to be my m. So your graph will look something like this. Okay, y is equal to mx kind of graph, which is going to pass through the origin. And it will look something like this. Okay, so here we have time. Here we have log of a naught upon a. So these are the different graphs. Okay. Now, uh, guys, raise your hand if you are not comfortable with logs. How to calculate log? values, how to calculate the anti-log values. Okay, fine. There are three people. Fine, fine, fine. So first of all, we'll see how to deal with logs, okay? And it is easy. It is not very tough. If you have learned exponents and all, then it is going to be easy. You can lower your hand. Now we'll start. First of all, we'll see how to work with logs, and then we are going to do some problems on the first order reaction. Then everyone, you please tell me, guys. Is everyone done? Are you ready? What happened? Why are you not on? What am I doing? Can you some? Can someone write in chat? Okay. What you can't turn your mic on, Khali? Background noise. Okay. Fine. What about others? Khalid, Salman, all of you can turn your mic on, na? Yes or no? Sir. Achha. Okay, fine. I thought I was right. Okay, fine. Now, all about logs and anti logs. Okay. Sir, we don't have to like learn this, right? We can just refer it, this logarithms and. Refer log. it. आप, 
अगेन स्टडी इट ये कॉन्फ्रेंस के अंदर है ये हां अरे नहीं 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 लॉग का तो इस्तेमाल देख के आपको आना चाहिए इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री जब चैप्टर आएगा ना तो उस टाइम तो मतलब एक्सटेंसिव यूज है यहां पे ठीक है तो और दूसरी बात रेफर का क्या मतलब आप क्या बोलते हैं रेफर कर देंगे आप जैसे आंसर आया कुछ इस तरह से तो आप लॉग लिख दीजिएगा 2.3 बस हो गया हां नहीं सर नहीं ना आपको आंसर लिखना पड़ेगा तो जनरली सीबीएसई तो दे देता है लाइक दे विल गिव यू द दे आर गोइंग टू गिव यू द लॉग वैल्यू दैट इज गोइंग टू बी यूज्ड इन द क्वेश्चन जनरली ये होता है बट लेट अस सपोज कभी नहीं दिया तो है ना एंड आल्सो इट इज गुड दैट यू शुड हैव आल्सो जब आपके पास यूनिट टेस्ट वगैरह होगा एनसीईआरटी जब लेके बैठेगा करने के लिए तो वहां पे लॉग की वैल्यू नहीं दिए रहते हैं एनसीईआरटी ओके तो उस वक्त आप फिर फ्लुएंसी जो होती है ना क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने की वो टूट जाती है लाइक यू आर सॉल्विंग 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 अब अटक गया सवाल क्यों अटका है सवाल सवाल अटका क्योंकि लॉग नहीं आता है ओके सो दैट इज नॉट अ प्लेस दैट आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी सो इफ लॉग्स आर कमिंग इन द पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन और द सॉल्यूशन देन यू शुड नो हाउ टू डील विद देम ओके Let us first of all see what is log. Those who don't know, and especially this is for people who have not seen log at all. For example, the people at biology background, they will not see log at all. Okay, until unless you see it in uh, chemistry class or the physics class. Fine. Now, here we see what is log. So, if you have seen this, ten square is equal to hundred. Similarly, I can write root of hundred is equal to ten. But I think there should also be a relationship in which ten times hundred or hundred times something should be equal to two. You know, I should be able to write the equation something like this is equal to two using this ten and hundred. Now that is the purpose of log, and also it is because of the mathematical rule. When you have one plus two is equal to three, then I should have here three terms: one, two, and three. This is especially for biology background people. Okay. So when you have one, two, and three, you have three different terms. You should be able to. Why is my my this is not working? Why is it not working? It is working. Okay, fine. Now we should be able to write the equation in three different forms. So we have written this as equal to three. I can write this whole equation as equal to two also, using the same two terms, three minus one. I can also write this as three minus two is equal to one. Now. This is a rule in mathematics. What is the rule? The rule is if you have three terms, then you should be able to form three different equations. Okay, you can should be able to now all of these are sub same. It is okay, but in different different forms we have right. We have equal to three, equal to two, and equal to one. Similarly, here also we should have something. Now then we came up with log. Not we, sorry, the mathematicians they came up with log. They said that the log of hundred whose base is ten should be equal to two. that means what we are generally expressing when we are writing log 100 is equal to 2 this whole expression is doing nothing rather it is just telling me 10 to the power 2 is equal to 100 all of you understood this yes or no please tell me guys reshma salman minashi you guys raised your hand please tell me did you understand this part yes sir right yes, sir. and to the power 2 is equal to 100 now you guys don't tell me what is the value of log 10 What you have to ask yourself: ten to the power how much is equal to ten? Hey na, tell me what is the answer? Ten to the power how much is equal to ten? One. Very good. Okay. Also, people, uh, those who know log, you just try to not answer until night, until unless I ask you. It's okay. Hishma, Minashi, Salman, you people will answer me. Or who has raised their hand? Who raised their hand? For log, no one. Okay, so log of one will be equal to if I have a power of ten here. This is the base of ten, and ten to the power how much is equal to one? Question is for Minashi, his Ishma Salman. I think you will see. Tell me, ten to the power how much will be equal to one, Ishma? Zero. Very good. Ten to the power zero is equal to one. Okay. Now there are some rules that you have to write. For example, log of a into b. We can write this as log of a plus log of b. 
you can also see this. How can you see this? See, we have here log 100. We can write 100 as log of 10 into 10. And we know that this value should be equal to 2. And this will also be equal to log of 10, which is 1, plus log of 10, which is also equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 is going to give me 2. Similarly, there's another rule which says that log of a to the power b is equal to b times log a. Okay, so whenever you have power, the power comes down. So we can also write, you can see here, I can write log 10 squared. It should be equal to 2 times of log 10. And that is also true because 2 times of log 10 will be equal to 2 and log 100 is also equal to 2. Now there is another rule. Please write next. Log of a upon b is equal to log of a minus log of b. Okay, how can you understand this? You can apply this product rule that we have written. You can say that log of a upon b is equal to a into 1 by b. I think no one will argue here. Then you can also write this as log of a plus log of 1 by b. Now I can also write this as log of a plus log of b inverse b raised to the power minus 1. That is the only reciprocal to inverse of that. Now this negative 1 will come here and it will give you log a minus log b. Okay. Using the previous rule, we can also prove this. Now the last rule, please write log of 1 upon a is equal to minus of log a. As you can see here, log of 1 upon b, it became what? Minus log b. Same. Inverse karke, usko minus sign aake le aayenge, to ho jayega. Aur yaha pe 1 hai since yaha pe. So 1 minus 1 upon b will be equal to what? 0 and all, right? So isko, you please write these things down about log. This is very important to remember the what is the concept of log all about. Okay. Even if you know these rules, it is also important to know what is this log all about. Okay. 10 to the power how much is equal to this now. Done, guys. Just no piece, tell me. Okay. No. Right next. Now, using these things, we are going to calculate the log values of two. There are okay, fine. You should remember only four log values. You don't need to. You don't need to remember any other log values. What you have to remember is right. The important log values that you have to remember is log of two, which is equal to zero point three zero. Then you have to remember the log of 3. This is equal to 0 0.48. Log of 5, which is equal to 0 0.70. And log of 7, which is equal to 0 0.84. Also try to remember them in this order, same order. Okay. Okay. There is a reason why I'm writing it like this. As you can see, log 3 and log 7 are very similar, right? If you remember log 3, you should remember log 7. And if you remember log 2, you should also remember the log 5. Okay, so for log 2, 0 0.30. That means you just have to increase one number. From log 5, you have to increase two numbers. Okay? And also it is very similar because see, 3 and 7. You add 1, 1 to both of them number. We'll get 4, 8. And in like it is 4, 8, 4, 3, and it is 8, 4, 4, 7. Okay. So write this down. Then we are going to calculate log of 1, which is equal to 0, as you have seen. 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Then write next. log of 1 is equal to 0. Please write next. Log of 2, likh lijiega khud se aap lo. Right? Log of 3, you can write it on your own. Now, how to write log of 4? So, 4 can be written as 2 into 2. 
right? Prime factorization. You always should do what? You always should do prime factorization for any number that you don't know the log of. And then further, what you can do? You can apply the product rule. This log two into two will be equal to log two plus log two, which will give me zero point three zero plus zero point three zero, which is equal to zero point six. Next, you have log five. Many people they start with this log two plus log three, which is very wrong. Now please don't write this. ये बिल्कुल ही गलत है. Log five का it will not be equal to log two plus log three. Okay. Log five का direct answer आप लोग क्या लिखेगा? Zero point seven zero. Because five you cannot be factorized like that. Then you are going to write about log of six. Now six can be factorized. How it will be factorized? Log of two into three. Then you will do the same thing. Log two plus log three, and then you will calculate the value of log six. Then you will calculate the value of log seven. Then you will calculate the value of log eight. Okay, you will factorize. Please prime factorize. यहाँ पे side में two, then you will get four, then again two. इस तरह से कीजिएगा, ठीक है? ज़्यादा दिमाग मत लगाइएगा. Do each and every step. Don't rely on your brain right now. Rely on your hands right now. Rely on your the skill that you have writing skills. So spare rely कीजिए, ठीक है? Then you have log nine, which is equal to what? You will factorize again. Prime factorization. Then you will have log ten. Now ten to the power how much is equal to ten? So you will answer one. Tell me. Write this down. Send the answer to me on WhatsApp. Complete the com. ये इसको पूरा complete कीजिए यहाँ से यहाँ तक. नबीर अहमद प्लीज करेक्ट योर लॉग नाइन अदर थिंग्स आर फाइन इट सेम इट सेम फाइन ओके जस्ट करेक्ट योर लॉग नाइन
Khalil, please calculate log eight pro log eight properly. That is not right. Yes. Should do prime factorize me. We are talking about basics, right? Yes, Keshma, very good. Everything is correct. Yes, Minashi, very good, correct. Yes, Kalina, it is right. Very good. Salman, what happened? Our answer is I was teaching you guys only. Minashi, Hishma, and Salman. Okay, the phone is there. Okay, fine. Shall you? So we have calculated a few things. So let me just write the answers here. Log two will be equal to zero point three zero. Log three is going to be equal to uh, zero point four eight, and then I have to write for log six. I think right. Log six will be equal to log two plus log three, which is equal to zero point three zero plus zero point four eight, which is equal to zero point seven eight. Log seven is equal to zero point eight four. Log eight will be equal to log of we can write two cut cube also right two to the four and four to the eight so this will be three times log two which will be equal to three times zero point three zero and this is equal to zero point nine log nine will be equal to log of three square two times of log three this will give me two times zero point four eight which will be equal to zero point nine six. And log ten is equal to one. Calculate some logs that I am giving you guys. Calculate these values.
send the answer if you are done for the first one. I want to see how you guys are doing. Send the answer if you are done for the first one. You know, no, chat me mat dijiye. Jab Khalid, ठीक है ठीक है देखते हैं Khalid. पहला तो आपका थोड़ा सही लग रहा है. I think it's fine. Uh, second one, सही है. Third one, yeah, fine. And then the fourth one. पहले वाला तो आपने पूरा किया नहीं है नदीन फर्स्ट वन इज इनकम्प्लीट ना second one is fine also for the first one first one complete karke batayiye kitna aa raha hai koi answer complete karke batayiye ki aapka jo 5 by 3 hai that is correct kyunki complete hai second wala sahi hai aapka one and three i have no idea Okay, I think this is for the first one. Ha, that is correct for the first one, Nabi. Okay, no one else has sent me any answer. Ha? Sir, I sent in the chat. Sorry. Sir, I sent in the chat. Ha, wahi toh log bola. Wo pehla wala ka wala first one. What about the third one? Can I ask for the third one also? Okay, Khali. Khali has done all the. <laughs> Arey, kyun delete kar diya apne? बताइए हाँ ये आपका फोर्थ वाले का आंसर है हाँ ठीक है नबी फोर्थ वाले का आंसर करिए हाँ दैट इज वन वे टू डू नबी सॉरी नॉट नबी खलील ओके बाकी आप थोड़ा सा और इसको सिंपल कर सकते थे फर्स्ट वाले को और थर्ड वाले को स्पेशली बाकी सारे तो थोड़ा सा लाइक दे वेर क्वाइट अप्रोचेबल हिशमैन मीनाशी व्हाट हैपेंड पहला वाला भी नहीं हो रहा है क्या हिशमैन मीनाशी प्लीज टेल मी डूइंग डूइंग फर्स्ट वन यू आर स्टिल डूइंग या अरे उसको सिंपलीफाई कर लीजिए ना फ्रैक्शन को आप उसको 100 बट 100 बट 80 लिखिए चाहे आप उसको 10 बट 8 लिखिए राइट I mean, you can write it even as 100 upon 80, or you can write it as 10 upon 8 also. You can further simplify it with 5 upon 4 also, है ना? And then you can use log 5 minus log 4. Then you can put the value of log 5. Then you can subtract log 4 out of log 5. You will get the answer, है ना? Fractions जो है ना, fraction को simplify करके कीजिए जल्दी कीजिए. Two more minutes, फिर हम करेंगे answers. जल्दी कीजिए. वन मोर मिनट फॉर हेशमैन मिनाशी ओके हम बहुत समान तो 
आपका नहीं हुआ कुछ भी जल्दी 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 टाइम नहीं लॉ देखिए आप देखिए हम कुछ छोड़ते नहीं आप लोगों को पढ़ाना है इसका ये मतलब नहीं कि आप लोग इतना ज्यादा टाइम में है ना फिर आप लोग प्लीज रिवाइज करके आइए आपने आज एक जो सवाल दिया लास्ट क्लास से रिलेटेड वो आपने किया नहीं जितने भी न्यूमेरिकल्स है ना उनको घर जाके फिर से किया कीजिए दोबारा ओके वेरी गुड सही है ये भी सही है फाइन सो लेट मी डू द अदर्स यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस दिस विल बी लॉग ऑफ 10 अपॉन 8 फर्दर यू कैन सिंपलीफाई 5 अपॉन 4 दिस विल बी लॉग 5 माइनस लॉग 4 यूजिंग द क्वोशिएंट रूल लॉग 5 इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच 0.7 माइनस लॉग 4 इज 0. अह 6 Now the question is the value of rate constant. Value of rate constant. अब किसी से पूछेंगे what will be the unit of rate constant for first order किसी को याद ही नहीं रहेगा. And anyone tell me what is the unit for first order rate constant? First order rate constant what is the unit? कुछ चीजें कुछ लगते हैं लोगों को भी Five gram of reactant is reduced to five gram of reactant is reduced to three grams. ठीक है? The questions are very simple, but it is very like हमको याद है, like I remember. Okay, people were like जिन लोगों को थोड़ा difficult लगता है ना ये सारी चीजें. I can completely relate. Initially when I started like in twelfth standard chemical chemistry, it was like हमको क्या पता भाई? है ना हमको क्या पता साठ अगर रेट कांस्टेंट इतना है तो पांच ग्राम से तीन ग्राम कितने टाइम में होगा आई नो बट अगेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू लुक एट द स्टेप्स हियर है ना तो स्लोली स्लोली आई स्टडीड आई गॉट सम इनसाइट्स अराउंड इट एंड देन आई अगेन हैड सम एल्गोरिथम लाइक व्हाट टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन आइडेंटिफाई ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई यूजिंग द रेट कांस्टेंट के दैट इज इक्वल टू 60 सेकंड इनवर्स हियर लीटर इज इक्वल टू 0 दैट इज व्हाई लीटर द 0 प्लस 1 दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव मी द ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन एज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर नाउ व्हेनेवर दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट व्हेनेवर दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड ओके दे हैव द दे हैव सम टाइम एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ रिएक्टेंट हियर एंड हियर राइट दे हैव द अमाउंट ऑफ रिएक्टेंट एंड देयर इज टाइम इन्वॉल्व्ड एंड देयर इज रेट कांस्टेंट सो द के एंड टाइम Rate constant and time; these are only related via the integrated rate law equation, and that is why I will write 
get the integration of equation for the first order, which is equal to what who will tell me? What is the first order rate equation? When I should have two point three zero three by T. ेशन ए नोट बै एक्वेशन होगा ना इक्वल टू कुछ तो होगा ये ठीक 2.303 divided by k log of a not upon a. Okay. आप बोलिएगा सर यहाँ तो पांच ग्राम और तीन ग्राम दिया हुआ है. How can I write the concentration in terms of mole per liter per second? I will say that don't worry about it. What is mole? Mole is equal to the mass upon molar mass, right? Mass upon molar mass given mass upon molar mass. Now. If the reactant का molar mass तो change नहीं होने वाला है, right? So if I am going to write the again, then we have the volume. Volume is again not going to change. So what is concentration? Concentration is equal to the number of moles upon volume. Number of moles is equal to given mass upon molar mass. ठीक है? Divided by volume. Now change in concept. This is अगर आपके पास ये a not है, तो हम यहाँ पे w one लिख देते हैं. Divided by w two upon m b. Divided by volume. So this is my initial concentration. This is my final concentration. Yeah, absolutely. You will understand that I can cancel the V, I can cancel the M, and I will just just get W upon W one upon W two. Okay. So you can just write W one upon W two. Just write the equation. W one upon W two. Plug in the value of A naught and E. So you can just write W one upon W two. Plug in the value of A naught and E. Plug in the value of A naught and E. This is equal to two point three zero three. K is what you have. Sixty log of Initial concentration is five grams, so five or gram gram to cancel will be there, right? So five upon three. Calculate the value and tell me what is the time taken. The time will be in second because this is second inverse. Inverse will go above, it will become power one. Calculate and tell me what is the answer for time. This remember, your ratio same will go. Okay, this will be equal to what? This will be equal to the number of moles of A naught divided by the number of moles of A, and this ratio will also be equal to the given mass of A naught on the mass of A. That is why I can write five upon three.
Yeah, that is correct. So you'll get this as 2.303 divided by 0 0.0. Like all of these are fine. Divide by 60. And the log value you have just calculated now. 5 upon 3 is 0.22. Okay. Okay. You will get this answer exactly as 8.51 into 10 to the power minus 3. अगर 8.51 तो नहीं आएगा यहाँ पे अगर आप लोग 0.22 से कीजिएगा तो आपके पास यहाँ पे 8.44 आएगा। जी सर 0.008444 हाँ टेंडर माइस्टी यार इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टेक द एक्सेक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ लॉस 5.3 ना ओह देन दिस गोइंग टू बी दैट मच लेकिन अगेन वी आर यूजिंग योर हैंड सो दिस मच इज फाइन राइट अनदर क्वेश Prove that the time required for the completion of ninety nine percentage of reaction is two times. The time two times the time required time required for the completion of ninety percent of the reaction. In first order, you will this is specifically for first order. In first order, okay. If a reaction is first order, then it is saying that the time required for ninety percent is x. The time required for ninety nine percent is going to be two x. Okay. So first of all, see they have not given you any initial concentration and final concentration. So I will start that. I will say that the E naught is equal to how much hundred. 100 percent होगा तो 100 ले लिया हमने सही ये नोट विल बी इक्वल टू 100 देन आई विल आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दैट टाइम फॉर टाइम फॉर ए दैट इज़ द रिमेइंग कंसेंट्रेशन है ना अब जब आपके पास 90 परसेंट कंप्लीट हो जाएगा तो आपके पास क्या होगा ए वन जो हम लोग कैलकुलेट करेंगे सबसे पहले दैट विल बी 10 90 कंप्लीट हो गया � and then we are going to calculate time for the second, that is A2. When you have 99 percent reaction complete, then you have one reaction from whole. Okay, so we are going to calculate for both of these things. We are going to calculate for both of these things. So let us first of all calculate for T9. Okay, here we have written this for 90 percent. Here we have written this for 99. So this is 90 and this is 99. Now starting, we know the equation as Time is equal to 2.303 divided by k log of the initial concentration upon the final concentration of the reactor that has remained here. For T90 percentage, when 90 percentage of the reaction is complete, I can write this 2.303 upon k log of A0 is 100 initial concentration and how much is will be remaining? 10 will be remaining, right? 90 is completed, so 10 is remaining. 
Now, what you are going to get, you are going to get that T90 percentage is equal to 2.303 divided by K. And this will be what? Log 10. Log 10 is equal to how much? Log 10 is equal to 1. No? So this is going to be your answer, right? T90 percentage. Can do. Because log 10 is equal to 1. So this is your T90 percentage. Okay. Let us look at T99 percentage. So again, we can write T99 percentage is equal to 2.303 divided by k log of 100 99 percent of reaction is complete so one will be remaining and we can write this as 2.303 divided by k log of now this is 100 i can write this as 10 square and this will be equal to what the two will come down and we will get 2.303 upon k into 2, right? And log 10. So log 10 is equal to 0. So we can write T99 percentage will be equal to 2 times 2.303 divided by k, OK? And what is 2.303 divided by k? It is equal to twice of T90 percentage, OK? So as you can see, we have just proved that the time required for 99 percentage completion is twice the time required for 90 percentage completion. Okay. If you have the first order ka reaction, hai, okay, and it is taking this is 90 percentage. So 90 percent complete hone mein it is taking how much time? Let us say one hour. So 90 se 99 percentage. Yahan tak so kitna lagega? This is two hours. So 90 se 99 tak kitna lagega? One hour. Okay. Okay. Is everyone done? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes, sir. Done, everyone. Are you done? Kuch to bol diye. Kya ho gaya? Jab logo ko. On. Rakhawa sir. Okay. Chalye. Please redo all of these questions, guys. Okay. Log part. The first question.